So I wanted to do an unboxing video here of a rifle that I've been kind of drooling over for some time. This is a Pattern 14 Enfield from Royal Tiger Imports. And this is how it came packaged. Ton of styrofoam peanuts. I had to take this down to the basement and vacuum all up. Box came in decent shape. Shipped via FedEx, so let's crack this open. Oh, I can't wait. This is kind of like my Christmas present to myself. Let's put this back, because I don't want to stab myself in my excitement. Oh, there's still one more. There we go. Look at that, it just wants to come out. Okay. Wow, decent amount of bubble wrap. I'm going to have to really cut this out. Let me put you guys down and I'm going to get hacking at this with the knife some more. Okay, got my knife put away here. Let's spread it open and see what we got. So, for a rifle that's over 100 years old, I am not unhappy so far upon first examination. It's got a little bit of dings in the stock. Got the bolt. I heard one got shipped without the bolt. Let's see, we have... Here's their tag. Enfield Pattern 14. I don't see any major cracks in the stock just yet. I think there's supposed to be a little unit disc that goes in there that's missing, so that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, let's get it out and look at the other side. Let's get the box out of the way. <clears throat> Sorry for the carpet with all the dog hair. Oh, okay. We still got the volley sight. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Let's see how it looks on the other side. And we got the bead with it. Okay. I never got to play with that before. So far, I don't see any major dings or dents on the stock. I wonder where their import mark is. I think they stick them under the barrel. There they are. Caliber 303 British Pattern 14. So they put the import, uh, import markings. At least they're kind of hidden under there. Let's look at the bottom here. Uh, we got some surface rust, but it's not terrible. I could get that to clean up. Looks like they got the original screws in. Hi, Luna. You checking out the new gun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she wants attention, so I gotta wrap this up. We got uh, a little bit of a broken swivel, but I think I can order that through Numrich. Let's take a look at the butt plate here. Oh, she's definitely beat. I think that's a little door that I can open up. I'm going to see if I can take that apart and get in there. <clears throat> Let's see. We still have the sights on top here. These should just flip up. Oh, that's kind of neat. I guess you just pinch the side here. And that's how you adjust your elevation. Okay, let's see. Okay. I might have to t sit you guys down so I get the bolt out real quick. Okay, so we got the bolt out, and I'm trying to figure out how the numbering on this works. This doesn't look like anything that matches anything that's on the receiver, so if anybody can decipher these hieroglyphics, let me know. There's a good angle of it, and I'll hold it there for a second. Uh, on the bottom here, I have an R, which I'm assuming is for Remington, and the receiver on the side. There we go, it's on this side. Sorry, excuse my ignorance, this is my first Enfield. I like saying that. <laughs> it's an ERA, which that makes me think it's an Eddystone rifle. Uh, Sierra number 400199, but the bolt is an R. Now, I know Eddie Stone 
was uh, a subfactory of Remington. So I don't know if this is a matching bolt or not. I'd like to get a headspace gauge on it and close it. Uh, I did a quick test firing of it, of uh, just dropping the, the uh, firing pin, and that's functional. Um, let's see if we can find some other markings on here. I did see some on this corner here. So I have the acceptance markings here. Let's see if I can tilt this. So there's the crown with the arrow on it and the proofing mark. Here's the little bit of a close-up of the volley sight. That's clogged. I gotta get the Cosmoline out. Oh my god, I haven't had this for more than five minutes. It's already sticking with dog hair. And then I got these here that I'm trying to figure out what these markings mean. I know there's an asterisk supposed to be somewhere that determines whether it's a Mark I or not. I'll have to see if I get the furniture kit out or furniture off of this and take a look underneath. Um, another thing that I never noticed in any other pattern 14s, I want to sew, is this normal, this groove here that's cut into the stock? I've never seen that before. We'll go up the stock here a little bit. There's a little bit of a chunk missing there. But this stock, it, it's really dirty in my hands. But that means it should glow up real nice. So I already took a quick peek of this. I want to show you guys the bore. I was expecting this thing to be completely destroyed and unshootable. Oh, I'm going to have to get a light in there. Here we go. Here's an excellent shot of the bore. Uh, I see rifling in here. I was expecting this thing to literally be a smooth bore musket in comparison to what a lot of the uh, people were saying that already purchased some of these rifles. That doesn't look bad, and I didn't even run a patch through this thing. Um, just on initial evaluation of this rifle, <laughs> I think this thing with just a cleanup is going to be a shooter. So far, I am very happy with my purchase. Now at $500, I know it's asking a lot for a very old military rifle out of Ethiopia. But for what I got here... I am very excited. The only thing I can see that's really wrong with this is uh, the sling uh, clip down there at the bottom needs replaced. But for the most part, drops the firing pin. Uh, the bolt cycles uh, well. It doesn't feel loose in there. I'd love to be able to check the headspace and uh, get her cleaned up. But so far, this thing looks pretty darn decent. Okay, so that's what we have here. Um, I want to post this online to uh, some of the Facebook forums because I know there's a lot of experts that know a lot about these guns. And I'd like to find out some more about what the markings on this gun mean. So. If anybody has any information for me, feel free to comment and uh, I'll post some stills of some of the markings here at the end and if you have any other spots you want me to look at on this, just let me know. I'll be happy to take it apart. And I'll do a uh, cleaning video here soon once I get some spare time, but thanks. Let me know what you guys think.